All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Sativa. I'm doing this KuCoin tutorial for the Big Crypto Money uh, Telegram. You're only gonna be able to see this if you're in the group. You feel me? I want everybody to be able to catch these uh, these gems, right? So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit on the computer and a little bit on these phones, and we're just gonna make it all work. So when you first open KuCoin, this is what it looks like. You need to sign up first, right? So, okay, let's sign up. I made this, uh, I'm using another phone, so I don't gotta log out of mine. I'm just using a different email. Don't email me, bro, that's gonna be weird. Okay, I'm gonna send this verification code. Gotta make sure I'm not a bot. Like that, so let me check for this. Okay, boom. I'm gonna copy and paste this, right? You're gonna do this a lot. You gotta make sure you're secure. Okay, boom. So, um, for show, sure, about to not let y'all see my password. I bet. So, we signed up. I'm gonna enable the face ID so I don't gotta do that again. Just make it a little easier for me. You feel me? I bet. So, are we in here now the first thing you want to do is set up your trading password and your two-factor authentication because that's what you're going to need to withdraw you feel me so before you even put any funds on here you want to make sure that's straight so we hit security and we'll do uh where is it trading password okay so for, i gotta send another verification code let's go check on that i said it's gonna be a lot of these Okay, boom. Okay. Hell no, nah. not seeing where I'm at. And this is an anonymous wallet too. Like I'm not doing any KYC. I'm not gonna put my ID on here, none of that. And I won't connect it to my bank account either. We're gonna load it with crypto, but we're gonna see that in a second. All right, cool. So let's see, just let me do this. Let's figure out something that you're not gonna forget and I would write it down. Okay, boom, so we got that. Now we're gonna do Google verification, right? Actually, matter of fact, look, we're gonna get on the laptop for this, so. Let me uh, log in, because I just made uh, the account, right? So. Okay. Put this basic ass password in. I'm not a robot. I bet we in here, right? So using the computer is just gonna make it easier because I can scan a, a QR code. Nah, you can't see my location. All right, bet. So you see this little circle right here? You go here and we go back to account security where we were. All right, I already got my password, but I need to do Google verification. So I'm gonna hit set. It's gonna send me another code, you know how we do. Send the code, and then I'm gonna just check on my phone where it's at. Two zero, oh damn, six nine seven seven two zero. All right, bet, so you see how the the Google QR code came up. Now, the app you need to get is Google Authenticator. This is like my first account. It's on a different phone, right? So the easiest way is to scan the QR code, choose that option, let it get the camera, and boom, it got me that quick. So now this code right here, this six-digit code, I got to put that in. Two, five, three, that, boom. Activated. Now we in there. So I got my login. I got my trading password. And I got my two-factor authentication. That's important, right? Okay, so let me get out of here. Now, this, this interface looks different than something like Coinbase or whatever people are used to, but it's not that difficult. So we're going to go to assets in the bottom right corner. And we need to load this up with some funds, right? So we're going to hit deposit. And I'm going to use Bitcoin. 
My reason for that is because Cash App lets you buy Bitcoin and send it instantly. Some people, if you use like Coinbase, they might have like a withdrawal limit. Like everybody's different, but I know Cash App works for sure. Like if you get your uh your ID verified and everything, I buy Bitcoin on Cash App all the time. That's like the main way I load up my uh KuCoin. It's what works best for me. There's other ways, which is what I do. So I'm gonna copy this address right here, and then I'm gonna send it to my other phone where my Cash App's connected to. So send that over there so I can get the address. Let's come back over here. Boom. So I'm gonna copy that. Now let's go back to my Cash App, and I'm gonna do just like. Oh wait, now I gotta go to Bitcoin. Go to the Bitcoin set, uh, thing in the bottom right corner on your Cash App. You already get verified. I'm not. It's not a video about that. Hit buy, and then I'm gonna do two fifteen because that's like a little bit of spare change I got. Whatever, right? So okay, it's asking that. Okay, boom. So I did that. Now I need to hit this little arrow because I want to send it out. It took a little fee. Went from two fifteen to two eleven. So it cost me about four dollars, right? That's not too bad. So I want to send zero dot. You got to look at the Satoshis. You feel me? You see that number above in BTC? Zero, zero, three, three, two, three, seven, one. Okay. And then I'm going to paste the address right here. And it's going to send it off chain. You feel me? To external wallet. That's like my KuCoin wallet. So we're going to choose that. Hit next. About to censor out my cash pin. Y'all got me fucked up. All right, and then just choose priority every time, right? Okay, it's going to say that because it's going to take off its 10 cent. Just hit confirm, and now it's going to be 10 cent less by pay for the fee. All right, so it's going to take a little second to come to my KuCoin, and we'll, we'll tap back in once it does. All right, so the Bitcoin finally touched down. We back. Let me just... Uh... I'll just go to the market screen on here to let y'all look at this. I'll be get right. Okay. So you see in my main account, right, how my Bitcoin touched down. Now, a lot of things people get confused with is the main account and the trading account. They'll be like, yo, bro, I was trying to buy something and it's in my account, but it's not showing it's there, man. KuCoins, they violated. Like, nah, bro, you just got to get right. So look, it's easy. This Bitcoin that's in my main account, you're going to hit this transfer button, bottom left corner. You hit that, and it's going to go to your trading account. Hit the available so it does all, right? Boom. It's an instant transfer. It's free. Now you're in your trading account. So your main account is where you withdraw and deposit from. Your trading account is where you trade, right? So for you to find your market, right? Because we want to sell Bitcoin for Tether. That's what I'm about to do right now. That's the first play. So go to here. Uh, I don't have any favorites, so... Look, boom, BTC slash USDT. This is the market you want. Okay, so I'm going to hit sell because I want to sell my Bitcoin. All right, I got it. Now, we can talk about limit orders later, but right now, y'all are just trying to hit. You feel me? So if you want to sell something instantly like you would do on a regular app, hit where it says limit in that little arrow. Hit that button and switch it to market. Okay, just hit confirm. Okay. And now I want to sell 100% of my Bitcoin for Tether. So all you got to do is hit that little 100% button right there. You could put in a custom amount if you want to, or just, you know, 25, 50, or 75. But we're just going to do 100 right now. So sell BTC. I'm going to put in my password. All right, boom. So look, if I go back to my assets now, I got USDT in my trading account, right? So the next step is I'm going a, I'm to a use BNB for this example. I'm going to load up my trust wallet. So the next thing I need to do is buy some BNB. So let's go back to markets. And we're going to hit the search bar. Type in BNB. And you see BNB slash USDT come up, right? That's what you want. Okay, so we're going to buy that. Hit the buy button. And then look. So I guess for the, for the sake of this real quick, I could pull up the chart. And I could zoom out a little bit. It's on eight hour. I want to do four hour, right? I go to the four hour chart. And then you know, we can talk more about support and resistance zones later. But look, there's a little support zone right in this area, like 511, like right here. You feel me? Maybe a little higher, maybe like 518. So if I wanted to, I could hit buy, go back. I could switch this to limit. And then what? I think it was 518. 
and then I could put the amount of uh, BNB I want to get, or I could just use 100% of my bag, right? That way, like, whenever I put it through, I'm not buying it yet, but if it dips to 518, like the price that I want, it'll buy it for me. And if I change my mind, I could cancel it, and it'll be like it never happened, right? But we're not going to do that. I just wanted to show you all that real quick. So let's put it back to market. Okay, I'm going to hit do not show, gang. I already know that. And then we're just going to buy right now. So hit 100%, and we're going to buy BNB. Boom, it's that easy. It's just like using KuCoin, whatever. This is like the pro level edition, you feel me? So now in my assets, I have like $209 of BNB. So I want to withdraw this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it and I'm going to go to transfer at the bottom and I'm going to transfer it back to my main account. And boom, instant and for free. Now I got my uh, main account. So whenever, uh, if you want to fund wallets, like normally I would have sent something like XLM or BNB. They have cheaper fees than Bitcoin, right? But uh, Solana has cheaper fees too. Uh, ETH has higher fees. Like Bitcoin and ETH kind of have higher fees. ETH's the worst right now. But uh, what I'm going to do is I want to send my BNB to uh, my, my trust wallet because uh, we could do a pancake swap tutorial later if y'all don't know how to use that. But that's what I use for that, right? So I'm going to hit the withdrawal button right there. And BNB is at the top already, so hit BNB, right? And then now I need to paste the wallet address. So let me go over here. I think I put it in my notes. Yeah, boom. So let's copy that. Paste it into the wallet address. Now, this is the BEP2 network. If you're trying to send it to your MetaMask, you will have to use the uh, BEP20 but my shit been acting janky lately, so I've been using Trust Wallet. And it might ask for the memo, but as you can see, uh, well, you can't see. But for Trust Wallet, you don't need a memo. It's on my other phone, but I'm not about to pull it up right now. Okay, so I want to hit the max amount. And you see the fee is 0 0.01 BNB. So y'all can do the math on that. It's pretty cheap, right? So I'm going to hit confirm. Hit confirm again. Now I got to do an order. First, you put your trading password, right? Then we're going to do the email. And then second, I mean, third, we're going to do the 2FA. Now, you got to be quick because when you do the email code, once you hit send, it's going to give you 60 seconds to get it done. And then the 2FA is even faster. That's why we do that last, right? So we're going to do this in real time. Mm -hmm. All right. And then send the email code. Sent. Let me check my uh, Gmail. Boom. This is the most recent one. I think it's the most recent one. Yes, 230. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this right here. So we already did the uh, the trading password. So now I'm going to paste that there. Now we got to do the 2FA. So I'm going to go uh, Google Authenticator. Or right, let's put Authenticator. There we go. Now, look, I'm going to let this, this little clock go out so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Every, like, 20 or 30 seconds, it makes a new code because that makes it harder to hack you, right? See how it changed? Now I got a fresh clock. Copy that, and I gotta make sure my, see, I still got 45 seconds left on the email code. But look, I'm gonna paste that. Boom, hit confirm. All right, so the withdrawal is successful, right? Now BNB is pretty quick, so I won't probably have to uh, tap back in, but actually I will though, because uh, I gotta show you on my other phone, so it like it touched down or whatever. All right, so this is my trust wallet. You can see that the BNB already hit. It was a 0 0.1 uh, fee. And if you look at my KuCoin, you see it was 0.37. And my trust wallet's 0.36. That was about a $5 fee, right? Okay. So that basically sums it up. Like, watch, if I refresh this, you'll see the BNB's gone, right? It was pretty quick. Got it sent out of there. We can do more with the trust wallet. I can show y'all how to swap this to Smart Chain and then put it on Pancake Swap. Uh, you know, let me know if y'all want to see that next. But... This pretty much sums it up. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of other good videos that show you more advanced features on KuCoin. You feel me? But if you just look through it, right, there's uh, there's a lot of coins you can't find other places. Like, and there's new coins getting added every day. Like, you see Jasmine right there. That's one of ours. But I think you could get that somewhere else. But a couple of good gems that I like on here, like uh, Opulus is on here. You feel me? There's a lot of, like, watch. If you go to markets, I scroll look you go to metaverse you see block sand mana hero pyr a lot of a lot of good coins everything that's on the polka dot chain
You feel me? They got a whole section for that. You got stuff just dealing with NFTs. You got DeFi. That's just little categories, you feel me? But uh, you could buy XRP on here also, you feel me? But yeah, man, that's my favorite exchange. I be joking saying I'm the uh, religious leader of KuCoin, you feel me? But uh, look, in my Twitter bio, if y'all want to sign up, I think I'll probably drop it in the chat too. I got my referral code, you feel me? So, you know, everybody went. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Let's get this bag. I want to see what y'all do, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all better pass me up. I want to see people posting bags in the chat. I want to see what y'all, I want to see some wins. You feel me? So, I'll see y'all later.